Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to create our first room in Sammy's Quest, and we're going to put Sammy in it, and we're going to have him um, say a couple of things as soon as he enters the room. Um, so, we left. We last left off where we created Sammy, and we created the views associated with Sammy. And we got him animating correctly. So now let's go ahead and create the views, or I'm sorry, the rooms. So we go down here to rooms. We expand rooms, and if you created the default game. Um, like we did, we, uh, like I did, we have one single room um, in there already. I double click on that and it gives me two options, edit, edit room or, or room script. Um, I'm just going to click, double click on edit room and here's that blank room that we saw earlier where we have just kind of a black room where the, the default character was in. Um, well we want to change the background obviously, we don't want to have this this background so I'm just going to say here where it says background to display main background, I'm going to click on change here and that lets us pick a, a bitmap file um, actually any supported image file um, I happen to have the main hall from Sammy's Quest here so I'm going to say main hall and click open and there we have the main hall from Sammy's Quest, I'm, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit uh, by dragging the slider bar so that we can see the whole thing but basically, if you'll notice, it's missing some things. In the, in the actual game, if you watched me play the game, you, there was a there was a closet door here, um, or it was open. Uh, it was either closed or open, depending on whether or not you had opened it yet. And then we had a rug down here, um, and we had a couple of things in the closet, and maybe th something hanging here. All those things are objects in the room, um, but the background of the room itself does not have any of those objects in it, so that's why you don't see any of those here. Um, so this is really all we have to do for the background now uh, if you remember when we had Sammy his starting room property his starting room attribute was set to one which means that, that the main character the main player character starts in room one which just happens to be um, the main hall so I'm gonna change the description of, of this room to main hall just so that it shows up here as main hall a little later when we have several rooms that will help help us to know which one is which and then I'm just gonna say um, run the game now and just so you can see um, first of all, we haven't actually played the game with with Sammy's animation in there, and then secondly, you can see immediately that hey, here's the here's the uh, the room, the main hall, and he's walking around in the room. And as I walk around, um, everything looks okay as far as his animation frames go. Um, you'll notice too that if I walk up here, Sammy can actually walk on the walls, um, which obviously isn't what we want. We we'll we'll fix that later. Um, that's something that's called walkable areas which we'll fix later but we're not going to do that in this video so I'm not going to worry about that for now what I, what I want to do now is show you what are called um, the room events um, every room has what are called events that happen at certain points in the in, in the life cycle of the room if you will um, to get to those events if you if you're if you have the room open you have a an, uh, I don't know it might be hard to see on the video on YouTube but you have a uh, sort of a thunderbolt icon here which um, which says events if you hover your mouse over it and this is the events that happen in the room if I click on it I have several different things that happens um, I'm gonna expand this out for just a second so we can see what these say so basically I have we have when the character enters the room after the screen is faded in you know when the character enters the room the, the screen the room kind of fades in to, to, to view um, so we have this this particular event occurs after the fade in happens this one happens before the fade in um, if you want something to happen the very first time you enter a room and never happen again, um, you can put it on this event. Whenever the character leaves a room, uh, if you want something to happen, repeatedly ex execute is for when this just fi repeatedly fires all the time um, for a particular room. So if you wanted to something to happen or if you wanted something to be checked um, for, for a flag to occur or something to happen just repeatedly over and over again, this function, this this event will, will be fired over and over and over again throughout the life of the room. And then we have the different edges. So when the character walks off the bottom edge, usually this is this is where you'll say, okay, if the character walks off the bottom edge, go to this room. If the character walks off the left edge, go to this room. But you may want something to happen, like if the character walks off the left edge, well, oops, they walked into some lava, so kill them. Or maybe you want to say, oh, the character says something like, I can't go that direction. Or, you know, maybe you want something special to happen. So they give you these events that occur that allow you to define... Uh, things that happen when they walk off the different edges of the screen. So what the one that we want actually is the one that occurs after the fade in. We want Sammy to say some stuff uh, after after the room is faded into view. So to do that, there's a little ellipsis button on the right hand side of each one of these when you click on it, uh, and that will build your function. And this is where we're going to get into a little bit of scripting. 
uh, but not not too heavy at this point. I'm just going to really just do one command in the script in the script here. But if I click on the button, he brings us to the the room script file, and actually AGS created this function for us. And a function is just really a a, a set of um, scripting um, lines that occur whenever uh, this function is called. Um, so this function will be called whenever the screen, whenever the room, after the room is faded in. Well, what we want, we want Sammy to say something. Well, that's easy, as easy as saying C Sammy. Remember, we called our, our main character C Sammy. So you type in C Sammy, you hit a dot, and now you're given a list of all the things that Sammy can do, or that your that character object can do. You know, he can uh, he can walk somewhere. Uh, you can tint him a certain color. Um, he can think. Um, you can set his walking speed. Um, you know, you can set him as the main character, ma player character. For example, if this was Donatello, who's the, not the main player character, I could say Donatello dot set as player, and all of a sudden now the player character, the mouse controls, and everything will affect Mr. Donatello. So if I wanted to change characters in the middle of the game or something, well, what we want to do is to do a say. So I would just type in. I could either double click here, uh, or I could just type in say. And then I have to type in an open parentheses, and that's going to say, "Here's I'm expecting a string, which is just just a quoted set of characters. So I'm expecting, what do I want the character to say? Um, let's have him say, hello world. And then I close the parentheses here, and I type in a semicolon, and that ends the statement. So I have csammy.say, hello world. So now, as soon as the, the room comes in, it fades in, and then Sammy's going to say, hello world and let's see if that works. So I just click on run at the top and there he said hello world and if you notice his head was bobbing up and down um, let me make him say something that that lasts longer um, this is Sammy how are you I am doing great I'm just typing a bunch of words here um, so that in fact I'll just type in something like that that way that way the animation will last longer what AGS will do is it'll take the length of the of the the string that he's saying and it will just make him speak for um, for a length that's appropriate a length of time that's appropriate to that length of string so now he's saying all that gobbledygook but you can see that his um, his animation is correct which we already knew that from looking at the the editor but at least we got him to say something so that's really what I wanted to cover in this one is just creating the room um, a little bit about events that happen in the room and uh, and then having him say something. In the next video, we will um, get into the walkable areas that I mentioned earlier, where we have um, where Sammy could walk on the walls and things like that. We'll fix that issue, and we'll have him just be constrained to certain areas of the room that he can walk on, and um, and maybe get into a little bit of um, what happened, him interacting with different things in the room, like for example the books. Uh, the books on the shelf here. We'll have him be able to look at those and say something about them if you click on the eyeball on those on those things. So, join us in the next video. See you then, guys.